Gilmore School, Gilmore Hawks. My name is Elias Loves from Ms. Breen's fifth grade class. I have been a hawk beginning at the Gilmore School since I was pre-K to the Huntington in grade one, and now I am back at the Gilmore. Please join me in standing of the Pledge of Allegiance. I have pledged allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand with me for a moment of silence. Together, let's say the scholars pledge to learn. Gilmore students are problem solvers. We always have a plan. We, we, we think we solve our model as we can. We think before we act, we show respect to all. Good head, good heart, good choices. Our pride for one and all. We are Gilmore scholars. You may now be seated. And now let's start with the show with Miss O'Brien. Thank you, Elias. What do you say for Elias? Good morning and welcome to Superintendent Thomas, Chief Academic Officer Saba McGuire, Chief Officer Wolder, families, students, and educators. Today, we come together for our first annual Gilmore Community Beats Celebration. It is today that over a year of being apart, we come together and unite to honor and celebrate the talents, accomplishments, and efforts of an entire community of learners. To our families, we are so grateful for all of you that have, for all that you have done to support the academic journey and adapt to the various modes of learning this year. To our students, your dedication, attention, and resilience brings us here today with the unique qualities each one of you brings to our community. And to our faculty, thank you. You have demonstrated such skill, growth, and passion to maintain the integrity of our profession, which is to do whatever it takes to ensure that every child, every day, soars to success. Today, we celebrate music and the joy and spirit and life it brings to a community. If you explore the myths and legends of cultures around the world, you will learn that rhythm of drums are symbolic. Not only was it the first musical instrument invented by man in many varieties, it was used to understand the world, the universe, and the rhythm of ourselves. It unlocked the passion, identity, and creativity of individuals, cultures, and communities. Traditionally, the drum was the heartbeat, the soul of most African communities. Drums have been an intrinsic part of African life for centuries, generation to generation. In the Western culture, drumming is most often about entertainment. Today, it is both. We will honor the talents of voice, instrumental craft, and the unique percussion for which we will entertain. Yet our purpose for today's event serves as a symbol of the strength, efforts, and unity of our community. Today would not be possible without each individual's contribution, their individual beat, their collective rhythm, and of course, the efforts all to make it happen. We are stronger as one. We are strong as the Gilmore. We are back together again. I would like to introduce our first musical ensemble, hosted by Mr. Cardell, our maestro, and the fourth and fifth grade band with a mix of melodies.
to our band. Well done. Next, I introduce our choral director, Mr. Eric Fells. Mr. Fells has joined us from Berkeley College of Music. He has certainly made his mark upon our students in his short tenure with us. He brings to us We Are the World with our fifth grade chorus. children, they are our future, so thank you. Now for our main performance, I introduce to you a parent, an artist, and certainly a musician, Mr. Greg Fernandez. 
Greg has choreographed many performances, works with our Boston Children's Choir, and has recently launched his own organization, the Rose Conservatory. And with that, Mr. Fernandez, parent of Zoe and Zion, had an idea. How can we bring the spirit of music to the students at the Gilmore? I now turn over our program to Mr. Fernandez to share our inspirational project with all of you. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for everyone uh, who is here today. I have a few very specific uh, thank yous I'd like to get out. Um, so I definitely want to thank uh, all the administrators, Mike Thomas, Mike Smith, Mary Beth, thank you so much for everything. Uh, a very special thank you to the faculty and staff uh, of the Gilmore School. So many people have helped with moving buckets and moving sticks and pencils and cans and paper plate tambourines and just thank you for all the help getting the kids out here, getting them back inside, getting them inside when it rains, it, lots of things going on. Um, a very, very special to uh, Miss Sharon Walder for always having my back. A very special thank you to John Williams and the Champion City team, or as the kids like to call us, the big boys. <laughs> um, and I think my biggest thank you is to the kids. And the reason my biggest thank you is for the kids is because I want to thank you all for being so bold. I want to thank you all for making me work. Thank you because respect is something that's earned. And so even the K and first graders, I remember the first day, they walked by me like, who's this dude? So thank you for that. Um, Thank you for allowing me to come into your space and thank you for doing whatever it takes to make this happen. And lastly, thank you for allowing me to push you every day. Um, all right, so now to our piece. Um, our piece is based on a classical choral piece called Finding a Home. I have a really good friend, Sidney Guillaume. He is a Haitian American composer. And uh, as Ms. O'Brien said, I am a conductor for the Boston Children's Chorus and we commissioned Mr. Guillaume to uh, write a piece of music for our kids at Boston Children's Chorus. And um, his music promotes human values and is full of heart and passion. His work has also fostered an awareness of the beauty of Haitian culture. And so there's a certain section of that piece where he wants to represent carnival, a party, a celebration. And that's the piece where our rhythms are focused from. So I just want to read you the poem that this piece is based on because at the beginning, well, when the kids were starting to come back to school, uh, Miss O'Brien and myself wanted to do something that would represent the community. How could we bring everyone together and create that feeling of togetherness after being apart for so long. So the poem goes like this. Our drum has lost its beat. There's displacement under our feet. Tanbonu pedi cadence. Nous sentinou des paysais. As we walk along these foreign lands, we will find a home again. A home isn't confined to a place. It's a community, a warm embrace. Our memories will never die if we seek the rhythms of our past. Pagan souvni kam jam pedi, si nou cheche tamouds anset nou yo. It's in our journey we find a home. Se nan chimen la vie, nou jwen la kai. Embracing change and sharing lives, let the tears of anguish run dry. Our life is here. Our home is here. Listen to the rhythms of our feet. Our drum has found its beat. Dadadum, dadadum, takadum. We found a home again. We found a home. So while grades K and three, the rhythms you hear them 
perform are focused on a simple four count rhythm. Grade four and five have a more complex rhythm and it's actually taken from a phrase of the poem, Tambunu Repranz Kadans, or our drum has found its beat. Now, we've talked a lot, the kids and I, have talked a lot about expressing our emotions and how we can do that through music. And so one thing we talked about a lot was aggression. Because lots of times people will tell us, oh, you're too aggressive. You're, you're, you're being too aggressive, but that is very incorrect. Because aggression is good when used the right way and controlled. So in order to show you the differences between a controlled aggression and a not controlled aggression, we're gonna demonstrate that for you right now. So we've talked about playing very lightly All right, so very lightly, are we ready? One, two, follow me. All right, now give me a little bit more aggression. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy. One, stand up.
Okay, one, two, and three. Stand up. All right, so just to make sure, just to make sure we're ready for this last piece, I need a nice boom. I need one boom. Ready. up everybody and take a nice bow. Well done friends, well done, well done! Is that not a work of art? Let's hear another round of applause for our scholars, our musicians, and our maestros. I think we can all say our drum has found its beat. Our drum has found its beat. We, oh, okay. We, we got to work on what this means, but that's okay. That's okay because we never want our drum to lose its beat again. Now, although you may think that our event is over, we are not only celebrating the musical talents of our students and our scholars, but we're also celebrating the great character of each of our students, their perseverance and their dedication for what makes them soar. At the Gilmore, our attributes of good character are soar, safety, ownership, awareness, and respect. A tradition at the Gilmore is that each month, we recognize one scholar from each class that demonstrates those attributes. In addition, that might have been something we weren't so good at in the pandemic of celebrating each month. So, in old tradition, we will continue to honor our scholars with a Scholar of the Year. This recognizes one student from each class that has demonstrated the attributes of SOAR throughout the year. And what a year to demonstrate that soaring behavior. So with no further ado, what we will do is we will honor our soaring scholars here today, beginning with kindergarten. I'm gonna welcome our assistant principal, Mr. Adam St. Peter, our PBIS extraordinaire, to introduce each scholar. Welcome parents, welcome students. What a great celebration today. Okay, we're gonna get start. Great, we're gonna get started. This scholar of the year is a little, a little bigger than usual because of the year we've had. So it's great pleasure to give these awards out. We have a little extra something for you, Miss Jazzy. Can you give me a wave? Miss Jazzy is right over here. We have had some T-shirts made. We'll go along with the T-shirt you already have for today. So after you get your award, please go right over to see Miss Jazzy, and she will get you a size out for the Scholar of the Month T-shirt. Thank you, Miss Jazzy. Okay, so boys and girls, you can just come up right when I call you, right up to Miss O'Brien and I, and we'll give you your certificate. All right, from Miss Morton's class, Amy Dutton. Tenazaka, Amy Tenazaka, come on up. And we can definitely clap after each child is chosen.
from Miss Kerwin's class, Isabel Gomes Young. From Miss Dewey's class, Michaela Mendez. Okay, on to first grade from Miss Lopes's class, Camilla Goncalves. As Camilla comes down, we're going to call the next first grade from Miss Gregorian's class, Abdul Kane. While we wait for Abdul from Miss Mello's class, Zion Fernandez. Hook it onto his shirt. Nice job, Zeke. <laughs> okay, from grade two, Miss Morin's class, Abatha Adonner. As Abatha comes up from Miss Morrill's class, Abigail Adonner. And from Miss Bishop's class, Michaela Silva. Okay, from grade three, Mr. Fonseca's class, Anicia Fernandez. From Miss Lovell's class, Aliyah Munsienko. From Miss Reardon's class, Kelly Borges. And from Miss Bardia's class, Janaya Rubin. Okay, grade four from Miss Miss Sheldon's room, Jordan Spinola. From Mrs. Lopez's class, Leandra Pires. From Miss Ezebeck's class, Jamila Abdullah. And from Miss Duffy's class, Jaden DePina.
Okay, to our fifth graders, they're gonna be graduating soon from this school. From Miss Breen's class, Kyra Atherton Stone. From Mr. Paxson's room, Jessica Pina. And from Miss Grassa and Miss Schultz class, Nelani Andre. If we can first give a round of applause to all of the Scholar of the Years. Okay, give me a quick five, boys and girls. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. We have one last surprise Mr. Fernandez just told me about. So I'm not going to tell you about that. You're just going to have to find out. All right, I want to say a huge, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you that came out today. Parents, thank you so much. We're coming out today, it worked out to be a beautiful day. Thank you to those in the Brockton Public Schools that were able to join us today. Thank you to all of the teachers, and thank you to the students of the Gilmore School. True scholars, true hawks. Everyone give yourself a pat on the back. You did an amazing job. You are the ones that did the work, put in the time, and made this all happen. All right, one more huge round of applause. One more huge round of applause for everyone. All right, guys, to end the day, we want to do one quick flyby with friends, family, everyone waving up top. So wave up there, everyone. A true community event. We all set? We're good. We got it. All right. Oh, one more, one more. He said one more. Hold on one second. He's gonna do one more flyby coming from that way. Ready? Everybody wave, 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 wave! Nice. Thank you all for coming. Uh, how do Thank you, parents, family, and friends.